Crew 10 has had a great journey up here, about 28 hours to uh, get back up to the space station, and I cannot tell you the immense joy on the, uh, of our crew when we looked out the window and we saw the space station for the first time. <laughs> Kind of looked like a party up there. That was the SpaceX Crew 10 Commander Anne McLean moments after joining her fellow astronauts aboard the International Space Station after more than 28 hours of space travel. SpaceX's Crew 10 successfully docked at the International Space Station. They were greeted and embraced by Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. After nine months in space, Wilmore and Williams will begin their trek back to Earth here with the rest of us tomorrow. They will be joined by two other astronauts who have been at the ISS since September. NASA and SpaceX are projecting splashdown to happen off of Florida's coast right about 6 o'clock Eastern. You can catch coverage live here on the Hill. So what happens here in the next 24 hours or so? I know who knows. Jose Hernandez spent 13 days on the International Space Station. Uh, an astronaut, obviously, joins us live here on the Hill. Uh, Jose, thanks for being with us. I, I appreciate it. But take me through it the next, I don't know, 12 hours, 24 hours, whatever it is. Like, What's happening right now as they prepare to go from way up there to down here? Well, uh, you know, now they've undocked from the station. They're on their own, and they're making the final preparations uh, with respect to uh, you're going around the world at 17,500 miles an hour, so you got to <laughs> uh, turn on your thrusters to slow you down, let okay. the atmosphere capture you, and get that bumpy ride home. Huh. Um how are they trying to figure it out right now, right? Like, a lot of this is obviously planned to the millimeter and to the, you know, tenth of a second. But but how are they trying to figure out, okay, we're going to leave then, that brings us in here, the weather's this, we'll splash down there. Like, how does all that work? Well, I'll tell you, you know, I, I landed on... Um on, on uh, with the space shuttle. And so we landed on the runway. And once you're on the ground, you're on the ground. Right. These guys, and I was only up there for 14 days and I still got 1G adaptation sickness. So you feel kind of huh. queasy. Uh, and, uh, but, but now imagine these guys up there for nine months and then they're going to splash down and you're going to have some waves, all this right. wave motion. And I'm sure they're going to lose their cookies because I mean, uh, <laughs> that's how I felt when They'll I- Lose their cookies. <laughs> So it's an interesting time, right? Because they went up, um, uh, Butch Williams and uh, Butch and Sonny went up on a Boeing Starliner and they came down on SpaceX, right? And we've seen the commercialization of space travel really in the, in the recent years. And it's probably only moving that direction. At what point do you think there's the conversation here of, okay, where does the private sector, NASA, or, or SpaceX fit in? And, and what do we do with NASA going forward? Well, I think it's a, uh, a case of where you could have uh, private industry and NASA coexist and, and support each other as uh, SpaceX is supporting NASA. Recall that uh, Sonny and Butch went up on a test flight for the Starliner, yeah. maiden flight for with humans on board, and they had issues. So that eight-day mm -hmm. test flight turned into a nine-month uh uh, ordeal for them. Yeah. But that's the nature of the game. And I think we need uh, both private industry and government involved in space because it creates this healthy balance of competition. Hmm. I, I, we're talking about stranded astronauts. And then I also see Elon Musk talking about we're going to be, be on Mars in five to seven years. The, the two don't seem like it's a wild time to talk about Mars when we're also trying to rescue astronauts. Where do you think we are in terms of going to Mars? Well, as I've always said, you know, space travel uh, is not trivial. And so what we need to do next is we're going to retire the International Space Station, invest that, that operational money in developing a lunar base where technologies hmm. that are needed to go to Mars need to be developed and tested and proved. Uh, because right now there's too many technical hurdles we're a good 15 years away from going to Mars, not okay. uh, five years, as Elon Musk alludes to. Interesting. Got to leave it there. It's going to be a wild and fascinating day tomorrow. Uh, Jose Hernandez, appreciate the time. Love the perspective. Uh, sit back and enjoy. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.